What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Empire Motor Club vlog. Do you guys remember when the first Fast and Furious movie came out? Well, if you can't remember because it was such a long time ago, it was about 20 years ago. It was in the year 2001. I was already in college and I was already into JDM. But that movie made the tuner scene like at the forefront. It made the tuner scene like just invincible. And it blew the fuck up because of Paul Walker. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. You're a fucking legend and legends never die. Because of Paul Walker, that orange Supra became so fucking popular. Now we have Godzilla, we have the RX-7, we got a bunch of other shit, but the Supra is a street god. After 20 years, the Supra is still in my blood and it's still in Ryan's blood. Why? Because we actually both owned Supras back in the day, even before the Fast and the Furious. And that's why Ryan and I are best friends because, well, we got the same taste in everything pretty much. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride and we'll check out the GR Supra. Hey, what's up, dude? So we are at HKS Taiwan. Ryan's already here. This is Erga, the boss of HKS. This is Joe. So he's been taking care of most of the HKS business. I know that you guys are gonna see the Supra in the back, but I gotta check this out first. We have the differential oil cooler from HKS for the R35 GTR. Ah, yes. The intake is synonymous. They're very famous for their Xiangbu Ho. It's kind of like the mushroom head. Don't have any weird thoughts. Not that type of mushroom head. So this is the SQV piping kit, which is kind of like a blow-off valve. And this, this is the full intercooler piping kit and the intake piping kit. And this is the intercooler ducts and the intercooler. We're going to have a lot of goodies for the GTR, so stay tuned for that. But hey, we should check out the, uh, the Supra. Yeah. So actually, yes, my 2JZ was done here too. 20 years ago. Yeah, 20 years ago. But I they were you. in a different location. Yeah, so what color was yours? It was uh, it was white, and then I got in a car accident, <laughs> so I painted it black. I got a racing clutch, intercooler, um, intake, downpipe, exhaust, all from the man right here, man. Here. <laughs> And this is all 20 years ago. 20 years now ago. you know how old we are. But, <laughs> but it's also funny because I got into an accident with Sky in our Supra as well. Uh -huh. We were actually at McDonald's and then because we had a single turbo, it was just too much power and we just couldn't control the car and then we ran into the front car, the car right in front of us. So we all have embarrassing stories, but hey, we're here for the new GR Supra done by HKS here. Joe, why don't you take us around, you know, what you guys have done? Yeah, basically so, we've done, so you can see the livery of the car and okay. we do the exhaust. HKS XL blue muffler exhaust, which sounds amazing. And uh, of course, uh, we have the spring kit, so the car is lower now and more stable. Not a lot of stuff has come out sure. by HKS right, yet, right. but it's on the way. Yeah, it's on the way. It's okay. still, uh, you know, we're testing, doing a lot of testing. But what have you done right now? So far, we put the uh, intake air filter, yes, as you probably can see inside. Okay. But uh, other than that, we have put the engine strut tower bar by Costco. And so far, it's, it's only this two. Yeah. Okay. We're still waiting for the intake mushroom and uh, SQB piping kit. And soon will be coming the turbo and Ooh. the cooler. And yeah. I noticed that the, the hood is really big. You yeah. said it, it actually it goes covers like half of the, the fender. Usually yeah. it's up like up to here. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's all the way to the fender. Yeah, that's really interesting. I've never seen that. The headlights are LED. It's pretty cool. Let's start it up, dude. Yeah, we start Let's it up. Yeah, we start it up. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do start it up. Pretty badass. <laughs> um, so that's down pipe, mid pipe, and rear section. Right. That's pretty nice in here, man. Yeah, what do you think? It's kind of nice in there, GTR. 
Yeah. Is it a little bit? I don't know. A little bit. A little bit. The PR is much bigger. Wow, 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 wow. Koa, do you like it? Koa, <laughs> do you like it? Koa, do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should go test it. <laughs> he's, he's already driving. He's already driving. <laughs> so we can take the car out? Yeah, let's All go. Right. Let's do this. Let's do this. the new generation of the old you know jdm classics right we had the nsx we had the gtr of course and now this is the new supra and i think this they went completely the, rock, the other way with this you know what I mean? yeah they uh I, I know they use a lot of the bmw parts um yep. that's probably because they wanted to keep you know development down costs yeah, yeah. so that they can bring share the development exactly spin <laughs> Parts like that, I just laugh. I mean, <laughs> living where I live, you don't want to take this car out at 12 o'clock. No. Morning, You're going to no. piss off a lot of people pulling out your driveway. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to piss off a lot of people. I, I like the speed. I can tell what you mean by the uh, the springs need a little bit, a little harder setting. Yeah. I'm getting used to the, the, the transmission because it's, I feel like uh, there's eight speeds supposedly. So eight speeds. So, so they're, they're really they're short. Shifting. Yeah. It's really short. I think the uh, transmission can be a little bit fast. Whoa! <laughs> it just pops something out. Um, I feel like the shifts could be a little faster. Um, I'm sure they can all tune this with the ECU. All right, I'm in manual mode. Do a little straight line performance test. Okay, let's see what this thing does. This guy. <laughs> I think it could use a little more suspension tuning, bring a little better braking, yeah. and then it would be perfect. Like this car? I'm, I'm a little lost for words right now. Right? I'm trying to think of like, competitor. I would probably do a wide body kit. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would probably do a wide body kit. Sunny, su sunny that's sunny. You know? <laughs> That's me. I, I he has to go right. all out. I gotta go all out. <laughs> I gotta go all out. If I had, if I had this car, I would definitely go all out. You know, I would probably order that Street Hunter wide body kit. I'll show you guys right here. Street Hunter. Yeah. You, listen, you guys listening? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go back. I, I really enjoyed this car. I actually got to pick up a new car. Yes. 
we'll put that on another vlog. Right. Well, so, Mama Ye was complaining that uh, the E class <laughs> is a little too small for her. Hey, you gotta provide for your family, make your wife happy, and exactly. make your family happy, right? Exactly. You gotta do what you gotta do. I respect that. Exactly. It's and the man of the house. Yeah. And we found this perfect car, really good miles and uh, cost. Listen to that thing, man. Are you, oh my God, dude, don't. If you, yeah, you don't want to drive this car at 12 in the morning, though, man. This will this will piss off your neighbors, okay? <laughs> Really fucking fun. I have to admit, this is a special car for the price range. And what HKS did, you know, give them props. I can't wait till they soup it up a little more. Um, I'm gonna be back for another test drive, but you can go ask Ryan how he feels, man. I, I had a lot of fun. It's a beautiful car. Hey, big ups to HKS, man. Great job, HKS. Great job, Toyota, man. This Supra is, uh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I, uh, go home, talk to the wife. <laughs> Who knows? Come in here, man. All right, so we're going to end the vlog right here. He's our boy, Joe. If you guys have any questions or any, you know, inquiries, if you guys want to know about the Supra or even the Mazda Miata, which is a hot little car. Um, they do a lot of tuning on the Mazda as well as the 86. So any JDM stuff, man, he's the guy to go to. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.